and it's just showing you the sort of vehicles and what they'll do. Thank you ladies and gentlemen. The steam is in next. We're going to quickly get lorries in to move the cars and the ramp. We went into the barn to get out of the cold. I showed her the angle that she had to hold. We worked it all up to a good head of steam. Then I gave her the best of my thrashing machine. Had her, I had her, I had her, I had her. All together, I had her, I had her, I had her. In the parlour, raise a flag and we unite behind the dragon. When we see some sheep, we shag them for your yakida. We like playing rugby. Three riders on the wall at the same time, crossing and recrossing one another's path. You'll see the riders taking their hands entirely away from the controls of the motorcycle. You'll see them sitting sideways, sitting backwards, sitting forward, standing up, steering the motorcycles with their feet. All this is much, much more. Thanks for coming on. But it just remains, we've got a fantastic weekend. We've got a fantastic weekend, and um, they're going to do a couple of laps. But I would like to thank our section organisers, uh, Dorothy and Hayden Powell. We've looked up as well this weekend, and we hope you all come back. Hope well, you enjoyed it. Hope to see you next year. Thanks very much.
Excellent. Oh yeah. Back, back to round again. Oh, there you go, there you go, there you go. Right, okay, cool. Pilot blink on. You ready? Don't waste your time. You're going to keep the pitch in away, isn't it? Uh, first press, the highway is doing right now. And we have to move on to Sam. Sam's up as well. Uh, so, uh, oh, that was a perfect press right there. Uh, and goes another one, Sam. Oh, that, that's it. And another one. And, oh, that's another one. Can you see it? Okay, there is a lot of good stuff. Do that one, Terry. Right, 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 <laughs> Is that thing when you were hit back? Can you see it? <laughs> Look at that. That's how much Alright, we're going to finish with that. That's their first show of the day. I think I will. They call him the Undertaker, they say. I think he's measuring me up.
That's an 86 lorry and he's doing it on his own at the moment. Yeah, definitely. Paul has not got any power on. So that S26 has made me look pretty silly because I didn't believe for one minute there was any way that lorry was actually going to pull that amount of what that is fair dues to Scammell for building something that's able to pull that sort of weight. And that's a tremendous display, ladies and gentlemen. Mick, I never thought it would do that. Quite honestly, Mick, I never thought you'd, you'd pull that one off. It's um, completely unknown quantity, and it's nothing like the sort of work that you would have expected that vehicle to be able to actually return. And uh, it's a fantastic, as you say, a fantastic accolade there for the for the capabilities of a firm that we no longer have in this country. What a great pull that is. That's 325 tonnes. And in truth, the lorry has proved me wrong. I didn't think that, uh, that it would do it. And the only good thing about it is that I bolted the crane off. Well, following that very spectacular single pull, find this mayhem and destruction out here, the armoured personnel carrier was, uh, during the, the previous two wars, large war wars, um, people were familiar with These lads for a little while and you'll just, I hope you appreciate and great and great as well. delicate, just the point of balance, like a ballerina up there, well done. Fabulous demonstration, it's just showing you the sort of vehicles and what they'll do. Thank you ladies and gentlemen, the steam is in next, we're going to quickly get lorries in to move the cars and the rats. They're carrying out what you call a neutral turn, those vehicles are capable of doing that, and what they do is power normally with the track vehicles. In a horse draw, right? Yes, the horse is from the same engine with the dingles, as you can see on the canopy sideboard, one of the largest rolling tractors in the West Country. And it's sticking out between the wheels. That's correct, it's the one that's slung under the boiler to give uh, extra mileage in that between water sure in it. Foster's done some work to it as well, and uh, it runs actually almost in reverse, like a tramway engine. So everybody's had a go at this one. <laughs> everybody's had a go at it. All the top engineers in the steam world. Here's a little bit of novel advertising on this special roller going by them. If you want to see where they're going next, long distances on the road, which is very unusual for rollers because they're not the quickest or easiest things to get about. These uh, BB1s were the longest running Fowler plowing engine design, and there were more of these produced um, than any other Fowler plowing engine. They were used for mine work, retrieving miners out of coal shafts if the wheel, uh, pit wheels broke down. Uh, they have many uses. They were even used in the Navy for light haulage and that kind of thing.
labels in that team there, are you ready? Yeah! Oh, that was loud. <laughs> On your marks! Get set! Go, 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 go! That's not somewhere you want to put your feet in a fence. Now catch yourself, and the first one's halfway down. The first halfway down? Now don't stop for a look, go! And, um... Someone made the seats, someone made the light bulb, someone made the dining rooms, both steam and diesel and associated equipment. So that's definitely going to be a must. Generally there's over 200 engines there every year. So well worth a look this year.